Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all staying safe in these weird, unprecedented times. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different, a little bit outside of my comfort zone, um, and I'm going to be attempting to build my own deadlift platform, like that one you see there, and take you guys along with me on how to build it yourself. Okay, so a bit of reasons behind why I've decided to build my own deadlift platform. Um, as you're all probably aware, there's something weird going on in the world uh, with coronavirus and lockdowns across countries, especially in the UK, we're completely quarantined and locked down. Um, we get like an hour or two a day of exercise, social distancing, all that sort of stuff. And gyms have closed, which for me was quite a big hit um, because I enjoyed going to the gym. I used it as a bit of an escape. I used it to help with my mental health. Um, and all those sorts of things. So I started to look at equipment to get um, for my own house so I can keep strength training and keep training in certain ways. Um, and one thing I was missing and didn't realize I required at the beginning was a deadlift platform um, because I don't know if you can see very well, but it's all tiled in our garden with concrete. And if you start dropping weights on them, there's potential it's gonna crack and I didn't wanna have to deal with that. So first thing first, I looked online, can I buy one? Because I'm lazy, I don't like DIY and I'm not very good at it. But I also don't like spending a lot of money and deadlift platforms cost anywhere between 600 to one and a half grand. So I wasn't gonna spend that on a deadlift platform. So next thing I did was to Google, how do I do my own? It seems pretty straightforward. It's just some wood and some rubber, right? Yeah, cool. So I found some other YouTube videos and I thought I would create my own, hopefully a little bit simpler than others. I like doing the simplest, quickest way possible, efficient, efficiency and all that. Um, so I thought I'd take you along with me today. So in terms of cost of building your own compared to the cost I mentioned of buying one, like I said, it's anywhere between 600 pounds to about a thousand, thousand plus pounds for buying one, which are probably, you know, pretty good sturdy ones, but I don't have that much money or that space for some of them. Um, so in terms of how much it cost me to build this, it was about 200, 250 pounds. Um, but a lot of that was stuff that a lot of people probably already have. Specific drill bits, drills, specific screws, stuff I just didn't have, which quickly added up um, into that overall cost. But as you can tell, 200 pounds compared to minimum of 600 pounds, it's a lot cheaper. Okay. So let's get started on how to build a DIY lifting platform by someone who sucks at DIY and probably makes 30 different mistakes that result in the end product being rendered useless. Okay, so first things first, what do you need to build your own DIY deadlift platform? Start off with two four foot by eight foot pieces of plywood, approximately three quarter of an inch thick. Um, but that's sort of personal preference really, and we'll go with your screws that come later on. One four foot by four foot piece of plywood. Um, you can just get another four by eight foot one and cut it in half if you've got the tools to do so. Again, same thickness as whatever your first two bits of plywood was. One four foot by six foot four stall mat. Again, three quarter inch thereabouts thickness. Um, I would again try and get one similar to the same size as of plywood as you've already got as best you can. Some wood glue, some one and a quarter inch wood screws. I think I used around between 30 and 40 overall. Some washers, make sure they're the right size for your wood screws. I bought two packs overall because I was an idiot and didn't check that first. A drill and the required drill bits. A utility knife for cutting the horse stall mat. And some gold or silver sharpies I found very useful. Step one, with your first bit of four foot by eight foot plywood, get some wood glue all over there. As much as, you, as much as you think will be good enough, cover as much of the area as you can. I used a bit of a, a brush to help spread it a little bit better. Um, and then stick the other bit of plywood on top of that. Kind of straightforward, really. Step two, drill some pilot holes into your plywood, equally spaced apart around the outside of the plywood. This is just to ensure when you come to drilling that the screws go straight in um, and don't go at an angle or split your wood and there's, there's less issues for that. Make sure when you're doing your pilot holes, don't go all the way through the bottom of the second bit of plywood, just go deep enough to get into that. Along with this, drill four 
pilot holes into the middle bit of the wood um, in sort of a cross shape. Step three, drill your screws into those pilot holes that you've just drilled. In some other videos I watched, they actually let the wood glue dry overnight and put some weights on top. I was lazy and just thought I would drill as that is basically doing the clamping for you as well. Step four, mark the area where the four by four foot plywood is going to go and put wood glue over this area and put the bit of plywood on top. Step five, drill pilot holes equally spaced apart around the four foot by four foot bit of plywood and drill your wood screws into here. I did one in each corner, one in the middle of each side and one dead center. Step six, mark the area on the horse door mat with a sharpie that is four foot by two foot as this is going to be the sides of your platform. Step seven, cut down the lines of your horse door mat. If you've got a four foot by six foot one like I did, I basically got rid of the uh, centre bits that I cut out and used the two side bits of the horse door mat as that ensures at least one of the sides is going to be completely straight regardless of how good or bad your cutting out skills are. Step 8, place your bits of horse door mat on the platform and using wood screws with washers in, drill into the horse door mat through the wood. I did about four screws along the bottom and the top and five screws down the sides. Okay, so now you should have your own deadlift platform. Um, feel free to test it out as best you can. I gave mine a little bit of a test and it seems to be coping so far. I haven't managed this one, um, but it is something you can look at if you want. Um, I might look into it to help it a little bit from the weather. Um, but with it being summer now in the UK, I was hoping that I'd get a few months out of it before it gets too wet. <laughs> Saying that, yesterday we had storms and hail, so maybe I need to do that sooner rather than later. If you did enjoy this different kind of video, please leave a like. If you try this yourself or you've got any tips on how I can improve it or should have improved it, let me know below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. But for now, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. You should have done that. He always did that. Action. How's my beard looking? Intro, intro, intro. Let's... No, I don't know where I'm gonna... Like... Get your first 4x4... Four four. No, wrong. <laughs>